snowdrops are the most optimistic of flowers. No matter how cold, damp or miserable it may be, no matter the warnings of February snow, they push upwards through the cold earth towards the steely sunshine of short winter days. And their unthinking, instinctive optimism becomes a reason for us to be optimistic. The year turns and the plants still grow and the trees still bud and the animals begin another cycle of life. Small and apparently delicate, the snowdrops bend with the wind, shrug off the rain and melt the snow around their roots. These little white harbingers of spring are much tougher than they look. The day may be cold and still, but the skeletons of trees are reflected in the mirror of the water but life is active, even here. And where snowdrops lead, other plants follow, and the garden at Shugborough offers a surprisingly colourful collection of small plants, already in flower, in pink and purple, dotted around the beds. The bulbs have already pushed green leaves up above the earth, and you know the flowers are now not too far behind. There are even a handful of early daffodils, perhaps half a dozen, racing ahead of the pack that will parade their yellow trumpets up and down the riverbank in weeks to come. And the shrubs are not left behind. The leaves of various shades of green, from the brightest to the darkest, are pushing through the tips of the branches. Gardens, of course. The wisteria will bloom on Shugborough's walls before its leaves arrive, but not just yet. For now, we know the spring is on its way. The snowdrops have told us.